Hey there, everybody. Jason here. Uh, today was day three of Star Wars Celebration Anaheim 2022. I just finished the uh, live stream. Today was the first day that I was actually able to catch the entire live stream for the last two days. Um, I did have to work, so I kind of um, didn't catch all of it. As a result of that, I totally missed the 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones panel yesterday, and I'm really kind of disappointed about that. Fortunately, they have posted the entire thing in its entirety, uh, separate from the seven-hour live stream from yesterday. Oh, boy. I, 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 uh, um, I caught the live stream today, though, and it was really cool. Really, f you know, I, I know what it means to be a Star Wars fan and s things like this are, are it and just watching that entire live stream and everybody having so much excitement and enthusiasm for Star Wars, uh, just like I do, is is why I really get into this stuff. It's why I love Star Wars so much and um, it's why I continue to love Star Wars and uh, it's uh, uh, it, it, was, it was a lot of fun to watch that. Um, so a few big things that came out of today, um, there was an Ahsoka panel that actually featured um, big reveals, uh, including some much rumored and highly anticipated live action appearances from certain Rebels characters, um, uh, such as Sabine Wren and um, Chopper. And also, you know, with Chopper comes um, Harris and Dula. So those characters will have been confirmed to be making appearances uh, with other characters potentially making appearances um, in the series. But, you know, with everything being the way that they are, we might not know until later on down the line who's going to be appearing in the series and when. Um, they did show a brief teaser, um, which, given how much they, you know, given how much they did... Uh, film so far was probably really you know really short um teaser um which is fine with me that they you know that they put something small together and haven't shown it to the general public because i really want don't want to, i really don't want to see anything until it's more fine-tuned you know um once it's closer to release but i'm really excited about the Ahsoka series and these Rebels characters making their live action debut. You have no idea how much I absolutely adore Rebels. Um, I feel like Star Wars and animation has gotten kind of a, you know, has been kind of uh, pushed to the side. It doesn't get the recognition that it deserves, but I mean, without the Clone Wars, without Rebels, we wouldn't have this great resurgence of star wars that we do i mean we wouldn't have honestly we wouldn't have the mandalorian if we didn't have the clone wars um and that's all thanks in part to dave filoni and um, of course john favreau but um i'm so excited to see this series i'm so happy i can't think of the actress who's playing uh sabine right now but um she's she seems like she'll be a pretty great addition to the star wars uh Star Wars family. Um, another big thing that came out of the was a, a Star Wars Hunters panel. Uh, Star Wars Hunters, the new um, arena fighter game coming to Nintendo Switch, Android, and iPhone. I cannot wait um, to finally have another big Star Wars game on mobile. Um, the only thing right now is that's huge is Galaxy of Heroes, which... You know, it's a really cool game, and I like the cons. You know, I like the idea of all these different characters and ships and things from different um, eras. But you know, I'm not a big fan of the turn-based, um, you know, RPG style. So it'd be nice to get into a uh, um, a uh, arena fighter style with some new characters in a new time period, and just um, so, so this game takes place after Return of the Jedi in the in the aftermath of the fall of the Empire. So um or at least the the falling empire um so that'll be exciting I'm, I'm looking forward to that another big announcement out of today was the tales of the jedi which was announced um was it, i think it was back may the 4th that it was first announced but it was 
kind of shrouded in mystery. Nobody knew what it was about. They said it was a series coming to Disney+. Plus. Was it animated? Was it live action? Did it take place before the prequels, during the prequels, after, well, whatever. Um, the title was pretty synonymous with the uh, Dark Horse comics from back in the early, you know, back in the late 90s, the uh, Tales of the Jedi comics, which kind of explored um, Jedi history and, you know, this, the the history of the Jedi, the Sith, and all that uh, wonderful stuff. But we got more information on that today, including the fact that it is a series of shorts that uh, will be released later on this year, um, and they will feature Jedi from Jedi figures from the prequels, including Count Dooku before he fell to the dark side, um, origins of Ahsoka, um, Anakin, Obi Wan, and of course uh, Qui Gon Jinn, a young Qui Gon Jinn. Um, voiced by Liam Neeson that I thought was really fun. That was a really interesting, uh, bit of news because, uh, re- recently with the Obi-Wan series coming out and Liam Neeson having, uh, projects, you know, everywhere. Um, someone gave him an interview and asked him, you know, and you can't say, I know you can't say whether or not you're in the Obi-Wan series. So I won't even ask you, but just, hypothetically if you were to play would you be willing to play Qui-Gon Jinn he said yeah if only if it was a movie but you know this is a a TV series and an animated TV series at that so I thought that was pretty that's pretty clever on his part to try to subvert our expectations I guess now we can talk a little bit about it uh because he couldn't talk about it before but uh, that was really exciting I'm really looking forward to it it looks like it's done in the same animation style as the Clone Wars which I think is a very, you know, it's very unique and very wonderful um, animation style. Um, one thing I was kind of looking for was the Bad Batch. Um, they announced late last year that it would be coming, season two would be coming this year. So um, there is one more day. So anyone who's hoping for the Bad Batch might see it tomorrow. Um Otherwise, it might not be. We might not get a glimpse of it until maybe Comic Con back up here in July. But uh, we'll see. I'm really hoping we get something tomorrow because tomorrow is the last day. Uh, tomorrow, day four. Um, but after watching the live stream, I was just, I I was you know I was constantly being reminded why I love Star Wars and what Star Wars is all about. You know, it's all about community. It's all about bringing people together. It's all about the genuine love that we share for a franchise that has changed many of our lives. And um, I hope to one day attend in person. Um, that would be that would be a dream come true. There are so many, you know, Star Wars dreams that I have. And one of them would be to uh, attend a celebration uh, for the first time ever. So um, this was definitely a really good day. Um I can't wait to see what we've got coming tomorrow. Um, again, the last day tomorrow. So um, let me know what you thought of all the cool stuff that we we uh, saw today at Celebration and what you're looking forward to down in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as always. Click that notification bell to get uh, updates on all my future videos, uh, especially my next and final Celebration video tomorrow. Uh, for day four. Uh, thank you so much for watching as always, and may the force be with you.